Do you currently approve or deny purchase order requests? Well, let me show you how to add some automation to that with JotForm Workflows. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you are the sole responsible person to approve or deny purchase orders, let me show you how to add some automation in that with JotForm Workflows. So in the top left-hand corner, you can currently see we are in my forms. I'm gonna jump over into my workflows. Then I'm gonna create a new workflow and we're gonna choose a template. Let's do a quick search for purchase order. And we can see we have one purchase order approval template available. So we'll use this template. So as you can see, we currently have a starting point of office supplies purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this up here. Let's go ahead and edit this form and see what we're looking at. So we have the name and we have the ability to choose office chair, table. Then we have some general information from them. So let's go ahead and head back. Now that we know what is in the form, once someone completes that form, it's going to go to our department head and our finance manager. So we can see right here, we have approve and deny, and we're also going to require a signature if it is going to be an approval. Right down here, you can see the two email addresses that it is going to, but you can also choose from our form field. So if within that very first form, you ask for them to put their manager's email, you could choose from form fields and you could add that manager email here. But right down here, we have some completion rules so we can choose this. We can see require response from majority. So since there are two people, the majority is going to be both of those people. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it for require a response from one person, but you can play with those completion rules to best support you. So we can see if it is denied, it's going to automatically end with an email to them letting them know that it's been denied. If it is approved, we can come down here and there is another form for them to fill out. Once they fill out that form, it's going to come down to our chief operating officer for approval. And again, we can see we have approved deny. We have the approval is going to require a signature. We have the signers and we have response from majority, which since there's one, it's just going to be that one person. And then we see down here, if it's been approved, they're going to have an approval report. So if we click on the approval report, we can see what that looks like. And we'll choose our new document and we'll save and then the flow will end. So let's go ahead and create a form to add in right here. So let's go ahead and head back up to the top left. We'll click on JotForm. Let's create a new form. We'll start from scratch on the classic form and we can add in their name and we can just do a short text option. And here we can say, you know, reason for request. And I'm just going to copy this and make this the form title and the name up here. Perfect. Now from here, I'm gonna go back to the main area, gonna jump back over to my workflows and we can come down here to our form and we can choose our reason for a request. We can do a quick save and we should be good to go. Let's give this a quick test. I'm gonna to head up to the publish tab and we will open in a new tab. And we can fill this out. We'll do our good friend, John Smith. So we'll say, yes, he wants an office chair. We'll choose gray. And then yes, we need a table. I'll choose black. We'll do our phone number and our email and our address and we can submit. All right, now we can head back and in the top left hand corner, we're currently in workflow. I'm gonna jump over into our inbox. Now, because I was already in JotForm, it's easy for me to switch over to look at our inbox, but as that first level of approval, I will also get an email from JotForm letting me know that I have an approval that needs to take place. So we can see here at John Smith, we can see it's in progress. We get to see everything that he's requesting. Yes, he needs a gray office chair and a black table to be shipped here. So I think this is good. We can go ahead and approve. We'll do our quick signature and sign. And right down here at the bottom, we can see that I have approved, but it looks like we're waiting on that finance manager. And of course, this is an example email, so we don't have access to that. However, we can click on these three dots and we can take over and we can approve for them. If we want, we can leave some comments. I'm gonna go ahead and approve. We'll do our quick signature and sign. So now we see now that we have approved, it has gone down to that next form, the reason for request. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This came to my email and we'll do our name. We'll just say that our furniture is just a little old. We need some new furniture. We'll do submit. All right, we can head back and yeah, we'll do a quick refresh and let's take a peek. All right, now we have one, that one final layer of approval from our chief operating officer. We can go ahead and approve our signature and we should be good to go. Perfect, we are completely done. We can see right over here that John Smith has been approved and it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm workflows for your purchase order approval process, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video.
I'll see you next time.